my, my thing's gonna die. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie if you are new here. And in today's video, I am going to be doing five pros and five cons of becoming or being a medical assistant. Um, if this is your first video here, hello, I am Sophie, I'm 21 years old, and I have been an MA for, um, well, in July, it was my two-year anniversary at my job, and now it's September, so over two years now. Um, last, not last year, but two years ago, around this time, I filmed a video, and I figured it was time for an updated version. Um, I still be I watched that video yesterday and I still believe all five pros and cons I said hold true um, but these will be five different ones if you haven't checked out that video you should because I still think that they are five pros and five cons um, these will just be a little bit more those were pretty straightforward ones these I had to think a little bit more about and think okay what really is a pro to this job and um, like what what do I really like about it and what do I not like so much so these are a little bit more in depth if you will um, but yes go check out that first video if you haven't I want to put a disclaimer out there that these are my opinions and what's a pro to me might not be to you and vice versa same with cons um, so again just my opinion and then I also will do, a, I have a few questions um, people ask me on Instagram. I will do at this end of this video. End of this pro and con. So I'm wearing this cute scrub top. I thought it was fitting for the video. I didn't know what to wear. I'm like, well, might as well wear scrubs. <laughs> um, and we will just get right into it. So my first pro is I have gotten, or what's the word? I have, um developed so many friendships with my coworkers, and I actually hang out with some of them outside of work and your coworkers can make or break your job. Um, I have hair like all over myself but the one nurse I work directly with we're really close. Um, I'm close with her kids, her family like so we just we're friends outside of work and it's super nice. Alrighty so that was the first pro is co-workers that become friends um, another pro would be tuition reimbursement possibly so at the place I work I believe there's a tuition reimbursement I don't know if it's 50% I don't know if it's a hundred percent but essentially if you are working full-time or even part-time every place is gonna differ and you go back to school to get your LPN or your RN or whatever you go back for a lot of workplaces will in like big companies maybe not if you're working for like a private practice but you can go to school and work and they'll repay your tuition if you stay working there for two years or so um so that's something to look into that's something i wouldn't have even thought of when i started going to ma school um so if you are can't really afford to go to nursing school right away and MA you're thinking about it look into the place you would want to work and see if they can help you out with some tuition not even reimbursement but like to pay for your tuition um, I'm sure it's gonna depend state to state city to city even clinic to hospital like it's gonna vary but something to look into um, another pro this is like the huge biggest pro for me. It's there's benefits, a 401k slash retirement, um, PTO. You get all the benefits of a full time job that I mean you would anywhere else. But it's for you go to school for one year, which was a pro in my other video. One year of school and you get all the benefits of if you go to school to get a bachelor's in something else. So I think that's huge, especially if you are, you have a family to provide for. I mean, I do not, um, but I have a retirement started, a retirement account that I started when I was 19 years old and companies like match that up to a certain percent. Um, so that's awesome. And then PTO, I also earn a certain amount of PTO every pay period and that's awesome as well. Um, for me, this pro might not hold true to you guys. It just really depends on where you live and what kind of facility you're in. 
but I work in a clinic that's attached to a hospital. So there's a cafeteria, a lab, a pharmacy, all connected. My other appointments are right there. So if I need to leave and get a blood draw over lunch, I walk down the hall. The cafeteria, I eat breakfast and lunch there. Like for me, that's a huge pro because I save so much time not having to stop at Walgreens after work and get prescriptions. Like it's already at the place I work. And I would have never thought that I would like that so much, but now if I ever leave the place I work, I'm gonna miss having everything at my fingertips. Um, if I worked in a smaller clinic, obviously that wouldn't be the case, but where I work, that's a huge pro for me. Um, I can pick up my family's prescriptions when I'm there. I, if I, yeah, like a blood draw. Um, my dermatologist is just up the elevator. It's very convenient. I can just swing over and I love that. Um, and then another pro would be, it's, I don't know if I mentioned this one. I might have in my last video. I can't remember now, but it's a wonderful work-life balance job for me anyways. Again, I feel like I need to say for me because in my last video people disagreed with me but I'm not saying that I'm right I'm just saying that that's what is a pro for me um my hours are 7 30 to 4 give or take sometimes I go in earlier sometimes I go in later stay early leave earlier stay later you know um but when I leave work like I'm done I don't have anything to worry about I don't have to grade papers I don't have to prepare powerpoints like None of that, it's just you go, you do your job. I just knew that I didn't want a career growing up that was gonna require more work when I left the building. I'm trying to think of one time I've worked outside of, the only thing I can think of is they ask you to like work COVID clinics or flu clinics and then you can go in on your and but we're hourly so you get overtime so that's not like working at home so that's a huge pro for me and now cons the first con goes with the first pro and that is workplace drama um it's ridiculous some of these women <laughs> i mean not in particular just in general working with all women there's drama I mean, you think you get out of high school, the drama will go away. It doesn't, and maybe your clinic will be different. Um, but that's a con is, as long as you don't get involved in it, you'll be fine. But sometimes they try to ring in and you're like, uh-uh, I'm here to work and leave, not get involved. Um, another con, and it's, it's a con that's for sure you're doing grunt work you're doing the stuff that no one else is gonna want to do that um my nurse and i we have a pretty good like work re relationship where we know our roles because it's just the two of us for one provider um but i've seen other ma's in the clinic that just get like i mean you're stocking the bathrooms with like um wipes and cups and you're putting instruments away, you're cleaning rooms, you're stocking rooms. Um, and for me, I don't mind because it's like, well, that's kind of fun for me to like clean and stock and go through expiration dates. Um, this, when, when supplies arrive, you have to un unbox it and put it in the storage room. So you're gonna be doing things like that. You're not always gonna be with patients. Like you're gonna be doing a lot of just behind the scenes making sure the clinic is functioning i mean ma is literally make sure a clinic functions um and then another con is doctors not necessarily appreciating you um i've heard doctors say like you can do that as an ma and i'm like yeah i can or Oh, I only thought the RNs could do that. And it's just a lot of doctors are very arrogant. The doctor I work directly for is awesome and never makes comments like that. 
Um, so if you get in with a good doctor, thank gosh. But if you, and if you're with a doctor that you do not like working for, either say something to the manager or don't work for him or her because it's not worth being miserable because your doctor's per, um, horrible. I'm just gonna say that there's plenty of MA jobs out there. You're not stuck in one position. And if you've only been there for a few months, who cares? Find a provider that works for you. <laughs> and maybe, maybe that sounds aggressive, but if I did not like the doctor I worked for, I would not be at my clinic because they make, your coworkers make or break your job, but so does the doctor you work for. Um, and then also some nurses make comments like they're just an MA. Like it's just a very underappreciated job. I mean, no one ever talks about MAs. It's always nurses, 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 or which is fine. They deserve it. They went to school for how long? And I'm not saying they shouldn't be appreciated. I'm just saying MA is like, I don't really care. Cause it's like, I know I work hard. But if you're looking for a job that's gonna be like put up on a pedestal, you're not, that's not MA. But I mean, you also, are, you're only going to school for one year, but um, you still work really hard. And like I said, make the clinic function. Um, and then I think my sister's home. I have to finish up because then she's gotta cook. Um, another con is a lot of like recertifications, testing, um, staying up to date on stuff. So every two years for your certification, well, for me, I'm certified through the CCMA, Certified Clinical Medical Assistant. Um, every two years I'm coming up uh, in January, I need to be recertified. So I've been doing quizzes like in between patients at work and it's just, a lot of jobs, you know, you, you get your degree, you're good, whatever, but healthcare, you gotta stay up to date on stuff, which it's fine. I mean, it's not a huge con, but it does get annoying and I have to pay like $200 to recertify and my clinic doesn't cover that, but oh well. Um, and then also we have this thing called health stream where every few months more stuff comes out like um you're in pregnancy we have to like compens competent how do you say that competency you know what i'm trying to say make sure you're up to date on checking glucose just like there's always something you're never done when you're there there's always something you can be doing um but that's i think the pros outweigh the cons if i'm going to be honest um I mean, in my last video, I talked about pay and school and all of that. So if, like I said, go check that out if you haven't. Um, and now I have three questions only that I'll go through really quickly over on my Instagram. Um, hold the phone here. Someone asked, was the CCMA exam hard? And I have a whole video on certification, but I took the CMA through the Certified Medical Assistant through the double AMA exam, failed that one twice. So then I took the CCMA, failed, no, I didn't. I passed that one with flying colors. Um, so, but I studied a ton for it. Um, so I don't know if it was easier the third time or if I was just more prepared. I, I felt like I failed it, so I don't know. Um, someone said, that I'm their favorite YouTuber, which is so sweet, thank you. And any tips for new MAs? Um, it's hard because I don't even remember being a new MA. I went from being a student MA to an, to an employee like so quick that I already knew everyone when I started, but just work harder than you think you have to because it will be noticed and that will help you get raises or bonuses and like people are watching, like when you get a compliment from a doctor, like it's so rewarding, like it feels awesome. Um, like the other day, a doctor was like, oh my gosh, you're so smart because I remembered she liked sterile gloves for a certain something. And like remembering things like that will get you further and um, just 
I don't know. What else do I have to say to, for new Emmys? Just t take every day with a grain of salt. And if um, some days will be bad at work, but some days will be great. So don't base your MA career off of one bad day, if that makes sense. Like, don't be like, oh, I can't do this anymore because one day sucked. Like, you'll have good and bad days. And then someone asked if I was required to get the vaccine. Um, and without getting too in depth or talking about it, my hospital is not required. And for those individuals who do not choose to be poked, um, do a vaccine like protocol, like they had to like take a take a course and a test and all that and then testing every two weeks for the Rona. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say about that at my hospital clinic. If stuff changes, then stuff changes, but for now, you just need to test every two weeks and um, fill out like a declination form and so that is all my five pros and five cons of being an MA. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you have pros, cons, if you agree, disagree with me, and if you have your own, I would love to hear them. Don't be, um, don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.